So, Karen, lovely to see you again. One thing I'm actually touched about is that you remembered me from the, uh, the Lincoln game yeah. uh, when you won 2 1 up there. Um, I don't know where to start really because, like Birmingham, I've been doing quite a bit of work with, with, with you in recently. All the way from the Champions League against Arsenal when you won down in Barnes. And then I went up to come and see you against Tyreso in the first leg where it was 0 0. Just could you tell us, because I had a chat with Remy. And Remy said to me that um, she thought it was probably one of the toughest games she's ever played in, the second leg. Mm -hmm. you know, well, tell, tell us just a little bit about how you found that second leg against Teresa. Uh, I think the second leg, I think they stepped it up another notch mm -hmm. um, on their homes, home ground and different surface mm -hmm. and things like that. But, um, and I think their big players mm -hmm. turned up. I didn't, not saying that they didn't turn up against us at the home leg, but I think they knew they had to put in an extra shift, and I think they did, because um, they were under a lot of pressure given their financial situation, and they needed to go on and eventually win a tournament, but they, unfortunately they didn't for them. Um, but, you know, it was a tough game. I think they wore us down. Being a pro team and with the calibre of players that they've got, they wore us down with their um, technical ability and their passing range and stuff like that. But, you know, for, I think, about 60, 65, 70 minutes, we were in the game at 0-0, and then... You know, when that first goal went in, I think we just had nothing left in the tank, we'd given everything. And I think that's a positive for us that, looking back, we can't do anything different. It'd be awful if we had one of them games where we'd gone out if only, or if we'd wished, or whatever. So, um, but you know, I think that we that every player gave them their all. <laughs> it was... Um, as you yeah. know, my stuff's very raw and yeah. very, very real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, so, yeah, no, it was... Mm -hmm. I've been speaking a lot to your players quite recently and you're a team. There's so much, I must admit, yeah, there's so much. I find you one of the most approachable clubs in the league. And I, I don't mean to be biased there, it's but like seriously. No, 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 but I, I, David's given me wonderful chats. Jade has, Kirsty has, Mel has. I've been talking a lot to your club quite recently. Um, and on the FA Cup game against Arsenal, I kind of wisely <laughs> kept out of the way after that game, but Remy did talk to me. And I just got the impression that the reason why, you know, you kind of had that defeat with Arsenal was, cause in my opinion, was because you felt maybe the team had felt quite fatigued. You, you, there were six games, I think, in the space of about, I don't know how many days, just like re in two weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was two weeks, something like that. So th there was a lot, you know, and there was, I just thought that it was, you know, and maybe quite understandable that maybe that with the Arsenal game that you did feel a little bit sort of... Yeah, I think so. I think we was fatigued, but we can't give that as an excuse, you know. We had mm -hmm. to learn from that. Because we it was just a few days after the Teresa game, wasn't yeah, it? it was. Yeah, we, it was. A, you know, looking back, we travelled. The Teresa game took a lot out of us, and I think it was more emotionally that we were drained more than physically. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're emotionally tired, it takes over your body, and physically mm -hmm. then you feel tired as well. So it was um, a killer to play that game when it was, but, mm -hmm. you know, if we want to be go on and, and win things, we've got to be a bit like the Man United of old, where they, they win when they're not playing well or they get a result or they grind it out, or Man City that they stay in the game to the latest possible and they try and get that, that result. Um, but, you know, we were, we were all really disappointed, but we've bounced back and, mm -hmm. you know, we've had great responses with the results that we've had over the last um, three or four games. And, you know, we'll learn from the FA Cup and it's still... It was upsetting to know that we went out and in the manner that we did because I don't think we played to our potential. Mm -hmm. And yes, I think mental and physical fatigue played a massive part in that game. But you know, Arsenal really stepped up that game. They were definitely the better team, mm -hmm. I think, and they deserved to go through. And you know, wishing the best in the final. Watching the final itself, the Champions League final, was there that kind of feeling at all? We just thought we could have been there because I felt yeah. that. I felt that. Yeah, I mean, we watched you know? it as a team. We had training and we watched uh, bits of it when we were doing recovery after the game we played the other day. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was it was disappointing mm -hmm. um, to know that we'd played two or so and you know, could have been potentially there. But you know, things were meant to happen for a reason. And you know, it wasn't for us to be there this year. And who knows, maybe in, in a year or two, you know, if we get back in the Champions League again, that we go on and we learn from it. But the group, we're so young, but we're so developing so quickly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the the mental strength of our youngsters is ridiculous, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, if, if this team stays together for a long time, I think it's got a lot of potential. No, no, definitely. Because like, if you look at the likes of Jade and Remy and yourself and Joe in the middle, you know, I love that. And, I, and even on Wednesday, I saw that, you know, like it was a bit of a slow start on Wednesday, wasn't it? But tell us a little bit about Wednesday's game, you know, because I would, because Kirsty got the first, didn't she? And I thought, she, yeah, I thought she was as surprised as anyone to get the first with the back pass and everything like that. Yeah, no, Kirsty is really good for us. She's a confidence player and she'll be flying now. And 
you know, hopefully she'll get in a bit of a run, even though we've kind of had a second part of the season now, we've got that break. But um, she's deserved them two goals. But I think, yeah, we did have a bit of a slow start, but it's about the results, and we won 2 0 at the end of the day. And it was again a response game. They beat us in obviously the FA Cup, so we wanted to respond back after that disappointment. And we did, and we got the three points, and it's put us in top of the table now, going to the, to the obviously first part of the season is done with now, we're in a healthy position. but all that accounts for nothing. We have to be there at the end of the season, which is the main thing. Has this World Cup break you know, been a bit of a pain, really, in some ways? I think the rest is what everybody needs, but in terms of momentum for team, mm. I think it has killed it. But I think players are physically tired, mentally tired. The amount of games you play in such a short space of time mm -hmm. um, is really, really physically demanding. And don't forget, not, not our club aren't full time. You know, I know, no, 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 yeah, yeah, work, you, you're telling me. And, and do things. So for us, we don't have the luxury of Chelsea, we don't have the luxury of Arsenal, we don't have the luxury of Man City where they're in full time. Why is that, Karen? Why is it? We what? don't have the money, so. Really? Yeah, um, we're getting there and we're trying, and so for us, a break's probably what we need, and you know, we go again and. and Hopefully we'll get energised and, and push on for the second part of the season. How did it go yesterday with Liverpool? It's disappointing for us because I think it was a better team. Mm -hmm. and I think a number of people have said that. I think there were some um, refereeing decisions that might, they might need to go back and look at and analyse mm -hmm. and check whether they might made the right decisions or not. Mm -hmm. But the game's gone now, we've got a draw. I don't think it's a bad result for us. Mm -hmm. I think Liverpool will come stronger in the second part of the season when they get some of their injured players back. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, it's, it's a good result in, in hindsight. OK. Well, listen, I'll let you get you. Well, you're with Steph today and you're doing some work for BT yep. Sport. Obviously, it isn't, you know, we're way different to my kind of style. We have people walking backwards and forwards <laughs> and, like, no, ropes fine. being pulled on. But listen, until next time, lo lovely to see you Thank again. You very much, and until that, and, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much. All right, take Cheers. care. See you later. Bye. Thank you.